And we continue to follow the developing story out of downtown Baltimore where a parking garage partially collapsed. WJC is live. Avager Burnett is in front of the garage right now. And of course, Avager parking garages like this don't collapse very often. It has many people raising a number of questions. When was the last time this building was uh, inspected? That is one of the key questions that people are asking tonight, Vic. And fire officials here in Baltimore City say structures like this should be inspected every single year. But a spokesperson told me the last inspection was nearly five years ago in 2017. That person also told me it is up to the owners of the buildings to get these inspections done. The good news here tonight, no injuries. A parking garage in one of the busiest parts of Baltimore's tourism district partially collapsed Friday morning. We have a collapsed parking garage. The garage is at 1 East Pratt Street. I heard like a loud, like thunder. Across from the convention center. And then I heard sirens, and when I came out, it was just mayhem. Portions of the second floor crumbled onto the first floor, right over the entrance, where a parking attendant would usually stand. But just before the 10 o'clock hour, the booth was empty. Witnesses say a car had just driven in, narrowly missing the collapse. Today, uh, we are grateful uh, that there was no one injured uh, in this uh, incident. This could have been a, a severe uh, tragedy. A Florida based company lists the building that's attached to the garage as part of its portfolio. Baltimore City fire officials say the garage should be inspected every year, but the last inspection was nearly five years ago in 2017. That spokesperson also said it's the garage owner's responsibility to conduct those annual inspections. We called a property manager. Hello. And two senior directors of the building left voicemails but haven't heard back. Please give me a buzz. My number is Councilman Eric Costello said the three level garage could hold about 230 cars. Today, only about 50 cars were in there, and now all of them are stuck. We don't have a car seat, so hopefully we can get the car seat out of there. This or... man drove down from Delaware to visit the National Aquarium with his wife and baby. They parked here just 90 minutes before the collapse. They're now going to have to find another way home. I don't know. I'm going to try to get them to tow it to us when they're done. I think they, that's the least they could do, right? And had it been any other day, this garage could have been filled with drivers, people parking to go to events. For example, this weekend, English Premier League soccer will be playing here in town for two days. So many people are counting their blessings. Live at 6, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.